Hello everyone. I like to share with you a few trades that were posted on Friday, 23rd of June 2023. These trades were shared by AA who is trading Nasdaq CFD. As we see the macro chart of 10 minutes is showing downtrend, but we can see the price got rejected at the static support area and we can see break up here on the structural chart and we can see the uptrend channel is emerging. So using a smaller 20 second trading chart, he identified multiple area of pullbacks based on algo one to five and entered long positions in these areas and managed and closed them with profit using exit strategy number one. So thank you A for sharing your trades with us. The next few trades were shared by Yan, our global instructor who is trading NASDAQ futures. As you see, the macro chart is in downtrend, but it reached an area of the support and created a complex pullback. And you can see that in the structural chart. So he waited for the pullback to be completed and using a 10 second trading chart, identified multiple area of entries and in turn and managed this with exit strategy number one. And we can see that the result of the day was positive from three trades, 100% win rate and the average winning trades were 113 and the largest winning trade was $170. So thank you, Jan, for sharing your trades with us. The next few trades were those I have taken during the New York market session, and the video with detailed explanation was sent to students yesterday. So I'm gonna replay the video here for you. Hello, everyone. I'd like to share with you the trades that I have taken today on Friday, 23rd of June, 2023. These trades were taken on NASDAQ and Dow Jones Industrial Average Futures. As you see the macro chart, if we go to one hour, we can see that NASDAQ lost all of his gain yesterday during the lot of negative news from Europe session. And we can see that on one hour charts, all of the indices again started to go down and tested almost previous day low and also some of them lower. During the New York market session, the price initially continued to go down on all e minis and in NASDAQ, it got rejected quickly and went up. So in this area, around 940 on this candle, I took some long positions on NASDAQ, as you see here, but the price didn't hold and broke down and went to test the area of 15,000 and that got rejected. So at this point, around 950, so again, when the price tested this level and the buyers came back, I started to take long positions around 950 on the NASDAQ and also on Dow Jones. It was already very trendy, but kind of choppy. I started from here around 950 and all these green candles were taken with long positions repeatedly, as you see. And these signals were copied by copy traders to multiple Apex Trader funds accounts and we see the results which was positive and we had profit factor about 13.55 with about 80 percent win rate from these long positions and average win to loss ratio was 3.52 the largest winning trade was 500 dollars and the largest losing trade was 44 dollars so hope these trades taken by the pad system is useful for you and let us know if you have any questions have a wonderful day and also weekend.